If you have not taken your business online in 2022, you are missing out on so much potential. In 2019, Google reported that 96.5% of Canadians went online, and Statista recorded 4.3 billion internet users across the world. So there is a good chance that getting your business online will help boost your business visibility. In today's quick video, I'm going to outline what needs to be done in order to get your business online. Make sure to subscribe because we will go over every step in detail in further videos. But for now, here's a brief overview. Step 1. Choose the right domain name. The first step is to choose the right domain name. Before you commit to it, do some brainstorming to see how you like it. Does it have your business name? Is it easy to remember? You should always ask yourself whether you want it to be a .com or .ca. We will go over the difference in the follow-up video along with some more tips. But for now, the main thing to remember is that you want a domain name that is unique to you and easily identifiable. Step 2. Plan your website. Your next step is to create a plan for your website. Here you want to ask yourself, what is the purpose of the website? Are you bringing awareness to your brand? Do you want to inspire people or are you just trying to generate leads? Really zone in on what the website will do. Here you also want to start thinking of the different pages you will need, the payment options, the theme, and the overall look of the website. Step 3 is to design your website. Now it's time to design your website. There are many ways to go about this. You can start off by doing things yourself. Fortunately, there are a lot of easy website builder tools out there that are fairly simple to use with the easy drag and drop system, such as WordPress and Weebly. Alternatively, you can also look for a professional website designer if it requires a little bit more expertise. That's why you would need to plan out your idea in step two and really flesh out your idea. You also want to start looking at a web hosting provider as well. The key things you want to consider are their customer service, their reputation, and the location of their servers. Step four, create valuable content. Once a website is up and running, you will have to fill it with content that is valuable. The more value your website can provide for your users, the more you will see the success translate into revenue and profit. If you can keep your users engaged for longer, the better it will be for your SEO, which is a key component in the next step. Step five, make it easy to find your website. In step five, the focus should be on making it easy to find your website. In other words, it's making sure that your SEO is on point. SEO is search engine optimization, and the end goal is to make it easy for internet users to find your website using different search engines such as Google and Bing. To improve your website SEO, perform a keyword analysis, a website analysis, our reviews, and make sure that your website is user and mobile friendly. Step six, create social media profiles. Remember how we talked about choosing a good domain name in the beginning? This is when it will become useful because now you have to create social media accounts with usernames. And it is very important to keep the usernames consistent with your domain name. There are plenty of social media platforms out there such as Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, WeChat, Twitter, TikTok, and more. Some platforms will work better for you and your industry. Social media can help build a community for your customers and build a loyal fan base. Down the line, you could reap the benefits of having a strong social media presence by advertising to your loyal followers. Step seven, drive traffic to your website. The previous steps should work together to help drive traffic to your website, but now is when you begin to publicize it more. To drive more traffic to your website, you can send people to your website by posting on your social media accounts, running ads, and email campaigns. By increasing your traffic, you will be able to generate more revenue and sales from your website. Step eight is to generate leads. Once you've got the traffic flowing to your website, it is time to start generating leads. And one of the best ways to do this is to build an email marketing list. With this list, you can send out newsletters with different promotions, stories, and content to entice your subscribers to buy. Step nine, measure, monitor, and improve. The final step in getting your business online is to make sure that you're measuring and monitoring your online performance. This applies to your website and your social media accounts. Remember, these two are meant to work in tandem. By keeping an eye on how each one is performing, you can make adjustments and updates to get the most out of your website and ultimately boost your revenue and sales. And there you have it. That's how you get your business online. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. We will release a video for each step and go in depth with all the information and tools you need for each step. So make sure you're subscribed. See you next time.